Hey, hey, this is Mike from the Relating Revolution and the Brotherhood of Men. And here I'm day 13 of 30 of the Expose Your Truth Challenge with Juliana Garcia. And the prompt for today is, what is a mantra that you live by? What is something that you regularly incorporate into your life that might be useful for other people to hear about? And so the mantra that I live my life by that I want to talk about today is we rise on the ground over which we once stumbled. It's in the description if you want to read it again, but let me get it to you once more. We rise on the ground over which we once stumbled. What does that mean? Well, simply it means that the very obstacles in our life are the fuel that we need to get us to the next level of being. If you look at it this way, it said, here I am right now, and there is where I want to be. Well, the difference between here, where I am right now and where I want to be, there is a gap between that distance. And in order to travel that distance from where I am now to where I want to be, I must take the steps to get there. And those steps are actually the very things that are keeping me where I am right now. So say I want, you know, in the history of my own life, so say I want to be really joyful and really, hey, who doesn't want to be joyful? Say I want to be really joyful, I want to be really happy, I want to, I want to be thrive, thriving, I want to really enjoy my life, but I, today I'm depressed, right? Well then, in order for me to get from here to there, then I need to digest the energy of, depre of depression so that I need that obstacle, that thing is keeping me where I am right now, needs to become I need to turn it from a stop into a step. And then when I take that step and I digest that energy, then I get to where I wanna be. Does that make sense? So most people are thinking, oh, I want to, I'll, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll live this way, I'll live that way, when I already feel like it, when I already am feeling the way that I wanna feel, or thinking the way that I wanna think, or acting the way that I wanna act. And this is a little bit of a tricky dynamic because if you're thinking, if, you, if you're waiting to think, feel, and act, if you're waiting to feel like it, you're never going to feel like it. So we rise on the ground over which we once stumbled. We turn stops into steps. Living by this mantra means that the very obstacle that is arising in my life is the fuel. When I eat it, it becomes the fuel that actually takes me where I want to go. So oftentimes it's not just one step, right? There's, you know, between me, if I'm depressed, there's between me and a life full of joy. Well, then there are maybe a number of obstacles. There are a number of things, but each one of those, and all I can do is just eat the next step and take the next step and turn the next stop into the next step. And I keep doing that one step at a time. And eventually I get to this joyful life. I get to happily married and wonderful kids and going skiing and, you know, being my own boss and having, a, you know, an entrepreneurial lifestyle and, um, you know, all these things of like, you know, being able to really, really, really enjoy things when I was born with or maybe is certainly uh, have experienced for the majority of my life a tendency towards depression, anxiety, uh, had a bunch of head injuries that really messed things up for me that um, had, you know, certainly had plenty of anger I issues and, and things like that and addiction and drinking too much and smoking too much and uh, overeating and all these things, right? But when we, when we learn to pivot on the obstacle, when the, when the obstacle actually becomes the trigger for us to activate our, the, the, the fruit of the person that we choose to be, so like, so when, when I notice myself feeling like, uh, when I notice myself feeling angry, because depression really is not an issue in my life any, anymore. There's sadness, because, but sadness is natural, so let's not confuse that. So, but when anger, when anger comes up in my life, right, and I use that as the very, oh, I'm feeling angry, that, me, that triggers me to actually use the tools or do the practice process or activate the things that I know how to do to um, get myself in a state of feeling uh, joyful, right? Because really, I want to drive everything into the experience of either joy, openness, love, kindness, or awareness. And when I have those as my anchor, those as my map, those are like, that's my future that I'm talking about. 
anything that's not that becomes now the fuel for my success because when I when I transform, when I pivot from anger to openness, well then now that anger became the fuel to be open in a situation that I used to not be able to be open in. Do you understand? Does that make sense what I'm saying? It's like, if I wanna be open all the time, right? If I wanna be loving, if I wanna be aware, if I wanna be kind, you know, and joyful sometimes isn't always appropriate, but most of the time it is. If I wanna be joyful most of the time, then any situation where I'm not able to be open, loving, kind, aware, joyful, then those are the obstacles. And so when that obstacle comes up and I see it as my opportunity, here's the key. I see it as my opportunity, not as, oh shit, here's that again, oh no. Oh, I'm angry again, what a loser I am, I can't believe it. Well, guess what? That's just taking me steps backwards and backwards and backwards. But when it comes up, it's like, oh, great, here it is again. Here's an opportunity that I'm not yet unconditionally joyful, opening, love, kind, aware, whatever the virtue is that you want to go for. Here's the opportunity to transform this into that. And so then it becomes like my gym. My whole life is like a spiritual, psychological, spiritual gym. And I you know, certainly can bring in tools, I can bring in resources, I can get help, I can get support, I have mentors in my life that help me with these, I read books, I eat well, I exercise, right? But those are part of the things that you might want to be incorporating in, in, right? To help you with whatever your obstacles are. So reach out, reach out for helping. No one says we need to do it alone. And even though what I teach is a very, very empowered approach, it still needs to be learned. There are still tools and skills like that I learn every single day, right? So I, I, I'm very grateful for the teachers and the mentors in my life. And, uh, and I, I hope that this message finds you well. And I love you all. Have a beautiful day. Talk to me. Send me a message about the relating revolution. Um, I got this here. Okay, the, re- the relating revolution. For kick-ass couples who've lost their mojo, and want a better way than therapy, processing, self-help coaches, charlatan gurus, in order to hack their brains, their hormones, and their experience of love and trust, joy, and connection, right? So that's for the the relating revolution. And then there's the Brotherhood of Men. I mentioned that too, the Brotherhood of Men. I'm just gonna read it because I just wrote this. The Brotherhood of Men is for the DIY type of guys who know that something is off or missing, but think therapy is likely lame and coaches are often bullshit, but they will but they also understand that there is value to having the maps, tools, and the instructions to be able to upgrade your life, right? And it's just being smart. If you're lost in the wilderness, you, you want a map, you want a compass, you want a tent, you want a tarp, you want a way to catch food, you want a way to cook it, you want fire, right? So you need the maps, the tools, and the instructions to get out of the woods, right, if you're lost there. It doesn't mean that you're going to be there forever. It doesn't mean that you need to be dependent upon those things. Once you get back to your, you know, you get back and you're like, hey, great. I don't, you know, I don't need the, uh, I don't need the emergency map anymore, but it's worth investing in those things. And so if you're have, if you're interested, let me know. All right. Love you all. Have a beautiful day. Talk to you soon.